Isn't it wonderful that Australia's athletes have done so well at the Olympic Games? Maybe they should be running the show instead of our Lib Lab coalition because when these guys do a deal, wow, just wow. To translate for the millennial audience, it's a mixture of OMG and WTF rolled up into one. Now, the deal hitherto fabled as the worst in history was when Peter Stuyvesant, the Dutch sea captain, turned up in New York back in the day and bought the island of Manhattan from the local Indians for just a few beads. Of course, there were the Greeks too, back in 1200 BC, who offered the Trojans a lovely big wooden horse. And the Greeks leapt out at night time, opened the gates of Troy, and it was all over for Troy, for Trojan sovereignty, as it is for Australia's sovereignty. ScoMo and Albo have managed to beat both the Canarsie Indians of New York and the Trojans of the northwest coast of Asia Minor back in the day as having pulled off a deal even worse, totally dudded. Because at least the Kanasi Indians got 60 guilders worth of Dutch beads and the Trojans got themselves a wooden horse. The Scomalbo Coalition have ceded Australia's sovereignty, agreed to pay $368 billion for the promise of submarines they probably won't get. And if they do won't control, in return for packing young Australians off to war against China, our largest trading partner by far. Now, okay, to be objective, we get it. It's about security. It's about keeping the Americans nice. We have to be friendly with them, even though their empire has already packed us off to a bunch of wars and they're now busy trying to pack us off to war in China somewhere in the sea over Taiwan. Meanwhile, they're busy financing genocide and we're on the wrong side of that, fighting the Houthis in that coalition. Objectively, we need to keep the Americans on side though. But what has happened with the AUKUS alliance so far? Because the details of AUKUS 2.0, the extra little deal on top of the worst deal in history, well, it's worse. We've gifted them $10 billion. That's gifted the shipyards of the US and the UK, $10 billion up front for the promise of eight submarines sometime in the future. If they feel like it won't compromise their own security, their armed forces, it's if they feel like it. And there's another $358 billion coming in costs. That's our money, our taxes over coming decades, gifted for this Trojan horse of Americans gazumping Australia's sovereignty, AUKUS 2.0, the new improved deal from the ScoMo Albo Alliance. According to the new deal which has emerged, the fine print shows that there are no guarantee of delivery. So this is a bit like the Kanasi Indian chief dude not taking delivery of his 60 guilders worth of Dutch beads, but handing Manhattan Island over for the promise of delivery of those beads sometime in the future, which is yet to be stipulated. Skomokio and Albo have done a deal to hand over Australia, lock us into a war against China to save Taiwan, but we are paying them for that. We're paying them for that. No beads here. And they get to dump their nuclear waste on Australian soil as well. Not just our nuclear waste from our putative eight submarines, but their waste too for just eight subs. No delivery guarantee. Our counterparties in the US and UK, our partners can unilaterally cancel at any time. No refunds. Why? Because Albo is scared of being wedged by Peter Dutton and his mainstream media allies as weak on security while he's subsidising Peter's mainstream media allies on top. That's the Demtel steak knives in the deal. To borrow from Jerry Maguire, did Albo and co not think to say, show me the beads? Meanwhile, ScoMo, the architect of the AUKUS alliance, was, he was the brainchild which Paul Keating, the deal which Paul Keating has dubbed the worst in all history, even worse than Keating's own deal to sell the Herald and Weekly Times to Rupert Murdoch back in the day, gifting control of the media to Murdoch. Skomokio has jumped sides now 
and he's gone to work as a lobbyist for the other side, for our owners. We'll be a bit like the Canarsie Indian chief selling out to join the Dutch having sold Manhattan Island and go to lunch. Do what lobbyists do, go to lunch to further undermine his own people. Or like the Trojans, perhaps doing a deal on the horse to later become a lobbyist for the Greeks, while Albo, the King Priam of Troy, is still running Troy down under as a vassal of Odysseus. It is epic. The people have been criticising our Olympic break dancer Rachel Raygun Gun for her deal for jagging an Olympic spot in breakdancing and then doing some kangaroo hops a yawn or two, taking the piss and scoring double zero. Yet she got the trip to Paris and pulled global headlines for her efforts and for Australia. Maybe we should put Raygun in charge because she knows how to do a deal. Please like, share, or comment on the worst deal in all of history below. No hyperbole here. And throw us a few bucks on Patreon if you can afford it.